What's up you guys? Welcome to the video. Today's video, <laughs> I'm like nervous almost to post. Um, I'm just really excited though. Today's video is probably the single most like long-awaited video that I have ever uploaded on my channel. Um, and as you can tell by the title, it's going to be me finding out that I'm pregnant. Now, this <laughs> was from like two months ago. I um, am currently 14 weeks, I almost said 14 days, 14 weeks and one day pregnant. Um, and I found out I was pregnant at like f almost six weeks along. Um, so it's been quite a while, but I have just been very busy, traveling, very sick. Um, anyways, that's all besides the point. But before I get into this footage, which is like so special to me, it's been so crazy. I was just um, looking the footage over and stuff and starting to edit it. <sighs> that day was so insane and I haven't watched the video since then. But I wanted to, because it's kind of like literally me losing my shit, um, I wanted to preface this with the footage kind of um, with like the backstory and explain kind of the th some of the things that I'm going to say in the footage and where I'm coming from. So a little backstory, if you're new to my channel, um, I definitely suggest you check out my previous videos. I'll link all of my infertility related um, videos down below in the description box that will be able to give you kind of more of an idea of my history with infertility, um, which I know probably right off the bat when I say that you're probably like, you're 21, what? Like you're young to be dealing with infertility. Um, but a short synopsis um, is basically that I had a lot of very traumatic and severe medical issues um, at a very young age, starting when I was like 12 years old. Um, I actually have gone on the doctors, the show, the doctors since, um, and told my story and explained. That's kind, of, that's like how rare it is. Um, I had what's called ovarian torsion and I lost one ovary and this all happened kind of over the span of several years. Again, please watch these videos down below to get the full story and to like fully understand just how freaking amazing this is and what a miracle it is. But, um, but after um, all of my, well kind of during all of my medical issues, um, I was referred to a fertility specialist to kind of get their opinion. Um, well, after getting my, oh, my dog's snoring over there. I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> um, after getting my gynecologist who removed my ovary and stuff, um, in the emergency room, her opinion that I was starting to go through like, um, and having menopausal symptoms, she referred me to a fertility specialist and very long story short, um, I was told that I, was basically on borrowed time. So my body reproductively was functioning um, at a less than normal rate, basically. So like my reproductive age was more so like someone of my mom or even my grandma than um, than someone my own age because I only had one ovary and it was damaged. Um, so I was told that when I got to the age of like wanting to actually start a family, the, the odds of that would be like near nothing basically. Um, they thought I would be fully through menopause by the time I graduated high school at like, you know, 18 years old. Um, so I've been on borrowed time and that was always very scary to me because like in those early years, um, my early teen years, I realized that like, I just know that my purpose is to be a mom and, um, it's something, it's probably the one thing that I want like more, more ah, it's so weird, more than anything else in the world. So, um, by the kind of suggestion of my fertility specialist, I went through freezing my eggs and I was actually one of the youngest patients to ever do this ever. Um, there have been some patients like cancer patients and stuff before radiation um, and chemo, they would freeze their eggs. Um, but other than that, my story, like my doctor and stuff has spoken at conferences just about my case because it is very rare and because I was so young. So my first egg retrieval was at the age of 15. My second was at the age of 19. That said, I have 19 eggs frozen in an egg bank and I thought that when I wanted to start a family, um, I like IVF would be in my future. Um, it wouldn't happen naturally. That was something that I had kind of accepted, but I had this like sense of reassurance because, well, I have my frozen eggs. Um, and going through freezing my eggs, I had never even like kissed a boy, never talked to a boy, never had a boyfriend, none of that, right? 
Um, and so fast forward kind of to where I'm at now, I'm 21, almost 22 years old. Um, when I was 21, I met my wonderful husband. Um, you'll see that in this video, actually, I, um, refer to him as my fiance because we have gotten married. <laughs> it's just since this video, the footage that you guys are going to see. He is the only man that I've ever been with. Um, and it's just crazy. Like in retrospect, I had no idea, no idea when I was going through freeze my eggs that when I would be 21 years old, married and pregnant. So I met my husband at 21 years old um, and we moved pretty quickly. We did like, we were doing long distance. He's from Canada. I'm from California. Um, we met through Instagram. We'd both lost a significant amount of weight um, and done like Instagram and YouTube and stuff. So we met through that several, several years ago, like four years ago, um, but we actually started officially dating like um, just over a year ago. So today as I'm filming this, it's March 22nd, but um, just for reference, but in December of 2018, we decided, we were engaged, um, we got engaged in November, and at the end of December, we had a talk. He was fully aware kind of of my situation. Well, I shouldn't say fully, like he, he knew it. Yes, he was aware, but did he understand it fully? Like, no, I can't say fully because it's very hard, difficult to understand. I'm sure you guys watching are probably like, wait, what? <laughs> you probably have questions. Um, but we were having a conversation just like we always do. We both always wanted to be young parents. We always wanted to be pa parents in general. We knew we wanted kids with each other. Um, and after basically the first few months of our relationship, we were like not trying to have a baby at all by any means. Um, but I also, you have to understand, like, I always thought that I would not be able to get pregnant. Um, and so I, like, I didn't know if my ovary was fully functioning. I didn't know if I had the ability to get pregnant and I doubted it, honestly. But we were having a talk in the end of, like, December and I was just talking about how, like, um, you know, I often get discouraged thinking about, or I did often get discouraged thinking about um, just how long that process could be for us. And being so in love and like newly engaged and stuff, I I was so, you know, you get so excited for that phase of life. And I was also so fearful because it's like I've been told that, no, you probably can't get pregnant, but you're also on borrowed time and your ovaries functioning a little bit, enough to freeze your eggs. So, you know, it was always something in the back of my head. So long story short, um, we decided to basic like to try um it was just it was like a hopeful decision but it was also very like well yeah but nothing's probably gonna happen you know we didn't expect anything to come of it we decided to try for i think we agreed on like a couple months um and it was about a week so and when i say try basically what i mean is just um like we had been being careful i guess you could say but by like trying, I was actually tracking my ovulation, um, tracking my periods, my cycles and everything like that. Um, and yeah, if that makes sense, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult to explain because like I, my cycles haven't even been normal or regular. They've been like my last, my, you'll hear when I talk about it in this footage coming up. I don't know what happened. My camera cut off. Um, but I think I left off on just that we, we talked about it and we um, decided to try for a couple months um, and I don't even know how to explain the like what our expectations were but they were not very like high at all um, and so it was actually like a week of trying so basically we tried for one week in my within the cycle that I ended up getting pregnant in which is just like the exact opposite of what I ever thought would happen um, but we tried for that week and then it was, it was pretty funny. We actually, after that week, we're like, maybe we'll hold off, you know, um, we don't have to like rush it or whatever. And I was like, I got to it. You have to understand, like since I was a kid, literally a kid, um, going through all this stuff, it was kind of like a cycle of oh my god like the helplessness and feeling sorry for myself and like worrying about my future and feeling so devastated that i wouldn't be able to have kids to then the occasional being at peace of, of like you know it's god's timing and like um 
everything will happen when it needs to happen sort of thing so after like the week of trying i was like eh, you know we don't need a rush blah 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 let's get married first yada 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 um but in that week sure enough <laughs> i got pregnant so that's the backstory. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this footage. I know this is already a long video, um, but I wanted to give somewhat of a backstory. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If I did, I will like write it out. Um, but real quick, this day, I um, you'll see like as soon as we jump into this footage, it's going to be just my straight reaction because again, did not expect to be pregnant um, and I took a test this morning and I literally like I left it on the kitchen counter <laughs> um, and forgot about it not the kitchen counter sorry the bathroom sink ew um, and I forgot about it and then I went and looked at it and was like Psh, what I obviously was not expecting to film this because you can see I look crazy it was like right in the morning my face was all puffy and swollen and I yeah it was <laughs> It was it was crazy so i'm going to go ahead and cut to this footage the next video on this channel by the way will be um me telling danny that i was pregnant and which was like really a funny situation <laughs> but i decided to separate the videos because i knew this one was going to be long um but yeah so let's get into the footage of me finding out and absolutely losing it at the fact <laughs> that i'm pregnant <laughs> Okay, I don't even know what to <laughs> what to think right now. My oh my god. My period is 6 days late and I <laughs> I just took a test. It has to be false positive. It has to be What? I just completely sa I sat it down and forgot about Wait, am I real? Wait! Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Do I tell Danny? Do I tell- do it? What do I do? No, okay. I need to take another test, right? <laughs> oh my god! says yes but I don't feel pregnant 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 oh I need to take another test oh my god I wonder if I can pee right now I just took this I literally like sat it down I just haven't had a period for so oh. <sighs> am I really my period was six days late last month, though. And I took a test then. And, oh my god. And it, it was negative, and so this month, it's late again, and I just thought that it was... Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do? What are you supposed to do? Okay, I'm gonna try and pee on the, I have another test. Oh my God. I can't believe this right now. I'm so happy, but I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, we're not even married yet though. <laughs> Okay, I gotta take another test. Okay, I gotta take another- ah, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> okay, so. I am taking another test. I literally am in shock right now. <laughs> like I <don't... sighs> Okay, so I literally bought this test, this three pack of tests, you guys, the like triple check one last month. And I used the first one, the um, six days sooner or whatever. You can take it like six days before you miss period um used it obviously negative so i had these two more and so i literally just like i was about to pee first thing this morning and i was like oh might as well just because my period is late but i've just like my cycles have been off anyways <sighs> 
So I did not at all. There have been months where I've thought like, oh my God, what if I am? But I just was not, like I don't have that feeling um, mentally, physically or whatever. Yesterday though, we were getting food and I felt really nauseous and that's not super outside of the norm for me um, because I have like some health issues, which is also really scary. Anyway, the double check digital one says yes. So I just took this one. And it's a rapid result, so it says it will be ready in 45 seconds, and it's already been like five minutes. And I'm just afraid to go look. There's just literally so much going through my head right now. I'm scared. I'm so scared. This doesn't make sense. If you guys only knew, like, I, I froze my eggs because I've been told that I won't be able to get pregnant. I only have one ovary and like I went through so much. Oh my God. Okay, let's go look at it. Oh. It's positive. What do I do? 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 I'm actually. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm gonna have a baby. A baby. A baby. A baby. Baby. What do I do? I'm so scared, and I don't know why I'm laughing, but like. Oh, this is so scary. I'm so happy though. Okay. Oh my God. How am I going to tell Danny? How am I going to tell Danny? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I just drank a cup of coffee. I guess I should stop drinking coffee. <laughs> Where did I put the other one? Two positive pregnancy tests. What are we gonna do? I don't even have medical coverage here. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna stop recording. Oh my god, oh my god.